Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can have some fun with the so-called name pupils and uh, <coughs> in a uh, module and uh, these uh, name tuples are actually tuples which have names and uh, they have a so-called immutable property which means that once you have uh, initialized the tuple, you cannot uh, reassign values. So, <clears throat> in order for you to get started with this, you need to import from the collections the named tuple, and from enum, you have to import enum. If you would like to create let's say uh, name tuple which is called uh, animal then you would uh, do this the following way in animal because named tuple and this is going to be the name of the tuple and these are going to be the properties like the name of the animal, the age of the animal, and the type of the animal. And uh, let's set the uh, syntax to Python. Save it. Fun with tuplash.py. And uh, <coughs> we have two dogs. They are both King Shepherds. And the he dog is called Ursu. And if I want to represent him in Python, then I would say that he's an name tuple, and the name is Ursu. The age is eight, and the type is King Shep. And we have also got a she dog. She is called Suki, and her name will be based on the name tuple called Suki. She is a young lady, and she is the one of the kindest dogs we ever had. And her type is also in shepherd. Let's. Oh, let's import from the pprint module the pprint function and just print them. Also, so let's open a command prompt. Run the script. As you can see, we have initialized the function called uh, the name tuple. And uh, if I want to say that access in the specific properties can happen this way. But if I want to reassign the name something else, this will give me an error, which states that we cannot set the attribute, which comes from the fact that uh, the base type of this is a tuple. And uh, it's a, a really uh, cool and easy way to have a tuple, which has this uh, name property. What we can do with this is that we print the tuple as dict. And as you can see, here we have an order dict as an underlying architecture. And uh, 
it might be familiar for you because if you initialize the dictionary this way then this will mean that you have the name as the key and the suki as the value and the age as the key and the four as the value and uh, <coughs> if I say this suki dict equals suki as dict and pretty print it again it would be also an order dict and now let's see what happens when I reassign the name property to other as you can see this allows me to reassign the values because it's not a tuple anymore and if I print this one after the reassignment you can see that the name has changed and how can we uh, use it uh, in a different way so uh, if we want to use these uh, tuples with the uh, enum which is the enumerator uh, functionality from the enum module we would say that uh, we create let's go with a different example so let's say operating systems and these are going to be named tuples and the name of the tuple will be platform and we will have a version which is a property and we will create a class which is called OS and it will have a base class of enum and uh, <coughs> well, let's call it Windows OS and uh, in the Windows operating systems you have uh, the name which everyone knows that's called Windows 2012 R2 let's say for example and uh, it is going to have a version which is, I think it's called NT3.6, uh, 6.3, sorry. So if I say that 2012R2 equals NT6.3, the win 2012 is and six two and let's go below a little bit so the twenty oh eight R two is called anti six point one and the twenty oh eight I think it's called 6.2 uh, 6.0 so if we want to create this uh, class with the name tuple you can do this like uh, as follows so win 2012 r2 equals uh, let's say Let's say OS equals named tuple windows and the version. Let's delete this operating systems from here. And uh, if I say win 2012 R2 equals OS version equals OS. The, uh, no windows OS dot twenty twelve R two and to this analogy 
we will create the 24. We will also create the 8 or 2. And then Let's uh, save it and run it to see if there are any typos here. There seems to be no typos, so what I will do is pretty print the 2012 R2 and so on. Let's put the P in here. Cool! As you can see, we could merge these two data structures in a class and uh, we were able to demonstrate the power of the order bricks and the uh, enum module. And uh, this was all what I wanted to show you. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.